Hi everyone, so if you are tired of eating same old boring loki sabji then try this restaurant style loki sabji that I prepared it for my family and they really liked it. So I thought I thought I should share my recipe with you so that anyone can make it at home who has picky kids like I do. So let's take squash and boil it with some tempering inside, salt, turmeric and some water to 2 to 3 whistles until our squash is cooked. On the side, we are just going to make a paste. The ingredients are listed on the screen. I have just soaked watermelon and cashew for like half an hour or something, but soaking is not required. Just add some water inside to make a paste and leave it on the side. Now let's do some tempering and mustard seed, cumin, ajwine and astafatida with some tomato sauce. I'm using Kirkland Blanc because they have good brand, so I'm using that. It tastes so much better than the regular tomato, to be honest with you. <laughs> and let's do some seasoning with coriander cumin powder, turmeric, anise seed, and some Punjabi masala and pao bhaji masala because if I add all these spices, I know my family would like it. That's why I'm making it a different way. Now cook it for one to two minutes, and now add our prepared paste. After you add paste, just stir it really well, close the lid and cook it for 1 to 2 minutes until you see the gravy is like that. Then you add plain yogurt, I am using one big spoon of plain yogurt, stir it, cook it for 1 to 2 minutes and then add, add our cooked squash with some water in the blender that we made the paste. Just put everything in inside, close the lid until you start seeing the uh, oil floating on the top. That's when you know our sabji is ready. So now add salt if it's required. I had to add salt because I think I didn't add it earlier. So black salt, regular salt and some garam masala. Kasturi methi and coriander leaves. That's all I have added at the end and it was so delicious. And you serve it with puri or roti or naan. It goes very well with anything. So I hope my video was helpful to you. When you make loki, make sure your loki is not bitter, okay? Make sure you try it first before you start cooking anything. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.